Welcome back everyone, and we are on the heaviest trek so far. Uh, I'm gonna have to try and avoid steep hills where I can, because at 114 pounds, I probably will get a sprain. So of course, what's the first thing I do? I go up a freaking hill. Uh, hopefully there's a softer side to this. I can have my flare ready. Oh, I hear the wolf. I hear the wolf. I'm trying to just get down the little incline here. That's what this crouch is for. Okay, I see that one down there, but I don't know where the other one is. Um, <laughs> this is going to take so very long. This is a crawl, guys. Man, when we get to that bridge, ugh. We're going to get tired faster. I have to worry about the cold just a little more. But darn it if I am not bound and determined to get there. I wonder. Well, okay. See, here's the thing. I can take this road, and as you can see, we're going a little faster. <laughs> a little faster. I can take this road all the way towards the end and then hang a right and hike up the hills to try and get to that bridge. However, there's a bear cave down there, and it's not like we can run. I imagine even backing away from, bear, from a bear at this ridiculously slow pace is going to be costly. So we will still climb the usual route. I, I hear you howling. I need you to go away. And hopefully there's no more ninja wolves. That was, that was irritating. And I really don't want to have to come back for anything. Like I am, I'm being stubborn at this point. <laughs> I'm being so very stubborn. But I want to get there. The sad music is playing. It knows, it knows that I'm taking a monumental risk. I really wish that there was a way you could get the bears to kill the wolves, the way you can get the wolves to kill the deer. Oh, come on. Don't put wind in my face, too. Don't put wind in my face, too. That's just a... Oh, man. Ah, that's going to make it even more of a crawl. We'll probably have to make more stops to get warm. And... Oh, my goodness. Why... Why with the wind so soon? Yeah, we're we're gonna we're gonna be running into hypothermia risks a lot more often. Our condition is at half. Jeez. Get over the hump. Yeah, this is gonna be an interesting trek. How badly torn is the clothing we're wearing? I wonder if we can wear anything. Anything that's just a little bit better. Nope. Nope. Oh, okay, we'll wear that. No, those are not good. What about these? Mmm, not quite. Pants. Oh, these are better. Really, the cargo pants are better than the jeans? They're heavier, though. Of course, I'm carrying them either way, so... I'm just trying to fight the warmth here. Okay. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, I'm trying to fight the warmth. I want to make sure that we have the best ooh, of the warming gear on us. Okay, alright. So this will help us fight fight off the, uh, the cold just a little better. Yeah, see, our arrow already dropped. Well, I think that's because we're windshielded a bit. Because the arrow dropped from... Yeah, it's dropping from 1 to... It's going 1 to 2, 1 to 2. But yeah, changing clothes did help. Yep, it sure is. Mm. This is going to be quite the journey. I really hope there's no more ninja wolves. Because that one was just... I mean, I'm so glad that all we got was a torn clothing penalty. We could have gotten so much worse. I mean, it's not like we don't have the medical supplies, but that is not really the point. Yeah, I think the wind is blowing into our face as well. Oh my gosh. Did y'all see that little snail crawl we just did? That's because the wind is blowing directly at us. Oh, this is going to be a trek. It'll be worth it if we can pull it off, but it is going to be a trek. 
Actually, kind of going sideways at it helps a little bit because I'm not facing the wind, therefore it's not acknowledging that I'm going into it. That's a fun little cheat. Of course, I guess that I guess it could also technically be considered realistic because you're creating less of a uh, of a profile against the wind, so there's not as much for it. For, there's not as much that needs to be resisted against. Because you know, if you turn sideways, you know, in the, in the face of wind, it's gonna flow a little differently. I'm watching that direction, but oh, I am coming across this space, so I know I need to watch out for the. Oh my word! Look at how slow this is. I know I need to watch out for that one stop sign, but I want to keep an eye out for potential wolves in this area. And we're going to be hitting that hypothermic risk really soon. We have not even made it that far away from the gas station. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. This is going to be a fun trek. To your left, you will see the frozen lake at the coastal highway. <laughs> I feel a little bit like I'm giving a tour because I'm going slow. I'm giving you a nice good view, but I'm not going slow because I'm giving a tour. It's strictly because I need to, this is how I'm fighting the wind. There's the hypothermic risk. You've been colder than this before. I know you have. Oh, dang, we have eight flares on us. Okay, good. I'm feeling a little bit more confident about that now. I did not realize we had eight flares. For some other reason, I forgot that we'd grabbed all the flares in this trip. Okay, the wind's no longer blowing at us. So I can face forward. That makes me feel just a little bit better. Especially coming up over here. I will be using as many of these flares as I need to to keep us safe. Oh, man. We're going to be so hungry. We might lose our advantage on the way there. Which really sucks to think about, but... I mean... I, I would honestly rather lose the advantage on the way... Then have lost it before we got all, all, all this stuff. And even then, I still don't want to lose it, because that's going to slow us down so much more. So hopefully we will find food along the way. I'll grab cattail stalks if I have to. Okay, the turn is up there. I can see it. What direction is the wind even blowing? Hey, that deer carcass is still there. Huh. It'll be gone by tomorrow, but yeah. Oh, we are making quite the risk. It's a beautiful sunset, though. It is a gorgeous day to die in the long dark. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, I hear a wolf. I hear the wolf. I hear the wolf. So I'm going to angle just a little bit more this way. Don't want to get too crazy on some of these slopes. But, you know. I also don't know how... He sounded a little further away. But he still might be close enough to pop out at us. So if I hear that snarl... I'm gonna pop me a flare. I'm ready to brandish this thing. Maybe it was one of those wolves way out there. Because it's not like wolf howls can't be heard from further away. Oh my word, we slow. Oh my goodness, I need roads. I need so many roads. Okay. Eh, how bad is our hypothermic risk? 16%. We're okay. I don't know how far we're going to get before I have to make that snow shelter. But I'm hoping we can get up to the uh, trailer, one of the trailers up here. We'll use that to kind of recover a bit. I do want to keep pushing through, but it, nighttime is a lot colder. So, we, But, you know, our condition is going down. So we'll probably have to pop out a trailer anyway just to get some rest. I almost wonder if I shouldn't stop there, stop there and get some food, but nah. I think we're going to wind up losing our well-fed advantage at this point. I might have to make... I might have to turn this into mini trips. Like get some of our gear up to a point where it's closer to the end of the map, and then just move it one by move it bit by bit. Because all of our food is back to the other place now. Man, I think the food. yeah the only thing I have left is water and coffee and tea, and that's not going to be helpful. There's a carcass up there. Could that be the wolf we killed, or is that? Oh no, that's probably the dude. Yeah, because this is that bridge we're coming up on. 
No, don't. Go howling somewhere else. Howl somewhere else. I need you to go away. Okay. So yeah, I think the first shelter I come across we're going to have to stop at. Oh, that means we are going to lose our well-fed advantage. Which sucks because that's an additional 11 pounds. We're going to be going so slow. Yeah, this might have to be a series of mini trips. But at least now we're no longer going back at the gas station, which is very often wolf infested. So very often wolf infested. <sighs> okay. We'll get there. Slowly but surely we will get there. I wonder how much slower we're going to get once we lose that well-fed advantage. Of course, to be fair, with how slow we're going now, if I had stopped to get anything on that carcass, we might, we might not have been able to move. And I'm not about to eat raw meat because food poisoning. I don't think I have enough to make a fire again because we used that all trying to get the uh, water and cooking up that last bit of pork and beans. Or peaches or whatever the frig it was that we ate. I might just dump all the cans. Let me see something real quick. Use for what? Okay, if there's no need for all of those, I might just drop them. I think keeping two would be good because that way I could have one for coffee and one for tea if I'm ever out and about. Granted, there's only two cooking spots, but that still might be useful. So, you know, because of how quickly the cans cook. So I think I'm going to drop the cans, actually. Uh, but I'm still going to try to get to a shelter first. Just because that way they're easy to find if for whatever reason I need them on the way back. Because it doesn't look like I can... Uh, it, I didn't see anything that said actions. It was just use or drop. So I can't make them into scrap metal either, which is a little unfortunate. I wish that you could make that into scrap metal. Uh... We're making progress, but it is so very slow. How bad is the hypothermic risk? Oh, it's getting really bad. But I know that we're getting closer to that first little blue um, trailer. If we can get up there, then I'll just drop all the cans there. And that will lighten our load some. Problem is I'll have to spend some time warming up, so we might have to spend the night and then just be hungry. Alright, I want to be careful, because, as we know, wolves can be ninjas. I don't think anything's quite as bad as the ninja bear we got. Although there have been times when exploring um, Mystery Lake, this playthrough, that I've kept thinking, there's going to be a ninja moose, just watch. That's going to be my luck. The moose will be the thing that kills me. We'll finally find it, and it'll be because it ambushed us. <laughs> okay. I could really use some cattail oh, stocks right about now. Right now. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna lose that advantage before I even get to the trailer. Because I don't have anything to eat. But thankfully we do know that our character can go for a while starving and still be okay. But we do need to do something to improve our condition because it's falling rapidly. So yeah, as soon as I get to this trailer up here, we're dropping cans. I might just have to risk traveling at night anyway. Because our condition is dropping so very bad. Like, I'm actually getting worried now. It's dusk, so I can't be far behind. I think we're I think we're close. I think it's over this rise. You know what? I'm dropping the cans now. We're just we're just gonna drop them all. We'll keep the worst one because we it's not like we can't find more of these. I just dropped 20 cans, y'all. <laughs> 20 cans! We're already moving just a little bit faster. How much weight is that? Yeah, we're down to 107 instead of 114. We dropped like 7 pounds. <laughs> 7 pounds of cans. Oh, come on. I just want to get to this shelter. Come on. Oh yeah, we're, ch we're protected against the wind for a little bit. Yeah, we're about to hit starving. We're going to lose our advantage. We're going to have to make this a multi-trip multi thing. I got a little bit too ambitious, but that's okay. We're not dead yet. We are close, but we are not dead yet. And I will activate this flare in a heartbeat if I sense a wolf. Yeah, that trailer is up here. I can see it. You guys might not be able to see it as good, but I can definitely see it. 
I'm getting ready to light this flare in case there's a wolf. There's already wind. The wind itself is bad. I'm keeping an eye out. I'm listening. I'm watching. We are so close. But now that I know you can't turn the cans into scrap metal, there's really no point in keeping a bunch of them. Like, I'll keep two as backup in whatever base I'm at, and that'll be that. <coughs> okay. I don't see a wolf. I'm going for it. I'm looking. I'm listening. I am ready to click this flare on. I'm tempted to do it anyway. And... Okay. Ha! Ah, we made it inside. Okay. That is not even like a fourth of our trip. <laughs> so, um... Next to this bed right here. I, can't, I know y'all can't see, but I kind of can. So I'm going to drop a lot of things. I'm going to drop all the heaviest things. Where's the mountaineering rope? Because that's 11 pounds by itself. And then those boots. Where's the, where's the good boots? I'll just drop all the boots. 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 I'll drop the shoes. Drop this one, and I'll drop that one. There we go. That has us in the 11 pound range, but we're about to lose it. So what else? What else should I drop? I don't know, but I am going to go ahead and drink some water, so we don't die of thirst. Because I know that we can go for longer on hunger than we can on thirst, and it's going to take us a while to get that that well-fed bit back. Yep, there it goes. We just lost it. So we're 10 pounds over. Um. What else can I drop? I'm wearing these, so I can't drop those. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. I might have to drop some flares. So let's drop some flares. Plus this will give us, uh... Trying to get us just at that 65 pound, because I think that's our usual limit. Three should be good. Um... God. Eat. Soon. Yeah, we lost well fed. Sad. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna uh, say sleep for two hours. Hypothermia was healed. Well, I can kind of see. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? No lights are flickering, so it can't be an aurora. Alright. Still overweight. Uh, so I'll go ahead and drop some of the Heavier clothes. This is 1.6, 1.10. We'll drop, we'll drop the jeans we're not wearing anymore. I will right, drop the parka. We'll drop the pea coat. There we go. That got us. That got us. Okay. All right. Flares out, and here we go. Oh yeah, we're moving so much better now. We're gonna be starving, but that's okay. Man, our condition is terrible. I really, really need to watch it. Yeah, this is gonna be a multi-trip thing. That's where we were attacked. I don't know if the wolf is still here. I would love it if the wolf was dead. Because that could be valuable meat. As I do need food. But yeah, we're gonna have to really watch our condition here. Like we can't we can't afford any any additional risk. I'm gonna have to find food. I will probably find uh, cattail stalks possibly in the next map. We will see. Because I'm going to keep going. 
There's no question of that. But I'm going to get food first. I'm going to eat first. We'll drop off this gear at the next available place. Which is going to end up being the uh, cabin up here. Gosh, we're not close to any place where I can forage. That's the problem. Hmm. Not giving up yet. Not giving up yet. I refuse to give up this early. What we need is like rabbits and sticks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the rest of the stuff off at this shelter up here and we're going to see if we can find some rabbits. And we'll, get a, we'll just harvest a ton of sticks while we're out so we can get a fire going and cook the meat so that we won't die. <laughs> and I've got this flare ready just in case there's a wolf out here. Because we've already been ninja wolf, wolf. We've already been ninja once. If it happens again, we're dead. Okay. I can't see. I'm just gonna slide to the side here. And dropping these. Dropping that. I'm just gonna drop all the things that we're not using. Every last bit. We're just going to drop it all right here. Um, yeah. Drop the ammunition. Um, yeah, I can see just well enough we're going to drop the storm lantern. And this. Uh, let's see. What else can we possibly drop? We'll drop some of this stuff. Don't we have like a ton of cloth on us? We've got eight cloth. Okay. We've got tons of sticks, so it's not like I can't make a fire. I'm gonna drop the cured leather. Drop the cured gut. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't have enough birch bark for that. Okay. I know the door is. Yeah, there it is. Okay. So we need to find bunnies. I have an idea of where they might spawn. So I'm going to pick those up. Pick up some more stones. Since we know that this is no longer good against wolves, I'm going to keep the flare out. And we're going to go find bunnies so we can get food. And I probably will use the fire striker for this one. Possibly the accelerant because this is an emergency. I'm, gonna, I'm basically going to cross the bridge here and then go hunting down in that little valley down there because I know there should be some um, bunnies. So all we have to do is avoid the bear. I make it sound so casual. <laughs> all we got to do is avoid the bear. You know, that's that's just a bear. It'll be fine. I think we have to, yeah, I'm going to have to cross before I can go down because this is too steep. And it's too loud. It's so loud. So very loud. So very loud. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to pause it here, and I'll see you guys in the next video.